The territory of Christmas Island is an Australian external territory comprising the island of the same name. Christmas Island is located in the Indian Ocean, around 350 kilometers (220 miles) south of Java and Sumatra, and around 1,550 kilometers (960 miles) northwest of the closest point on the Australian mainland. It has an area of 135 square kilometers (52 square miles). Christmas Island had a population of 1,843 residents as of 2016, the majority of whom live in settlements on the northern tip of the island. The main settlement is Flying Fish Cove. Around two-thirds of the island's population is estimated to have Malaysian Chinese origin though just 21.2% of the population declared a Chinese ancestry in 2016, with significant numbers of Malays and European Australians as well as smaller numbers of Malaysian Indians and Eurasians. Several languages are in use, including English, Malay, and various Chinese dialects. Islam and Buddhism are major religions on the island, though a vast majority of the population does not declare a formal religious affiliation and may be involved in ethnic Chinese religion. The first European to sight the island was Richard Rowe of the Thomas in 1615. The island was later named on Christmas Day, the 25th of December, 1643 by Captain William Minors, but only settled in the late 19th century. Its geographic isolation and history of minimal human disturbance has led to a high level of endemism among its flora and fauna, which is of interest to scientists and naturalists. The majority, 63% of the island is included in the Christmas Island National Park, which features several areas of primary monsoonal forest. Phosphate, deposited originally as guano, has been mined on the island since 1899. History First visits by Europeans, 1643 the first European to sight the island was Richard Rowe of the Thomas in 1615. Captain William Minors of the Royal Mary, an English East India Company vessel, named the island when he sailed past it on Christmas Day, in 1643. The island was included on English and Dutch navigation charts as early as the beginning of the 17th century, but it was not until 1666 that a map published by Dutch cartographer Peter Goose included the island. Goose labelled the island Moni or Moni, the meaning of which is unclear. English navigator William Dampier, aboard the English ship Signet, made the earliest recorded visit to the sea around the island in March 1688. He found it uninhabited. Dampier gave an account of the visit which can be found in his voyages. Dampier was trying to reach Cocos from New Holland. His ship was blown off course in an easterly direction, arriving at Christmas Island 28 days later. Dampier landed at the Dales on the west coast. Two of his crewmen became the first Europeans to set foot on Christmas Island. Captain Daniel Beekman of the Eagle passed the island on the 5th of April 1714, chronicled in his 1718 book, A Voyage to and from the Island of Borneo in the East Indies. Topic: <laughs> Exploration and Annexation. Topic: The first attempt at exploring the island was in 1857 by the crew of the Amethyst. They tried to reach the summit of the island, but found the cliffs impassable. During the 1872-76 Challenger expedition to Indonesia, naturalist John Murray carried out extensive surveys. In 1886, Captain John McClear of HMS Flying Fish, having discovered an anchorage in a bay that he named Flying Fish Cove, landed a party and made a small collection of the flora and fauna. In the next year, Pelham Aldrich, on board HMS Egeria, visited the island for ten days, accompanied by J. J. Lister, who gathered a larger biological and mineralogical collection. Among the rocks then obtained and submitted to Murray for examination were many of nearly pure phosphate of lime. This discovery led to annexation of the island by the British Crown on 6 June 1888. Topic. Settlement and exploitation Topic. Soon afterwards, a small settlement was established in Flying Fish Cove by G. Clooney's Ross, the owner of the Cocos Keeling Island some 900 kilometers 560 miles to the southwest, to collect timber and supplies for the growing industry on Cocos. 
Phosphate mining began in 1899 using indentured workers from Singapore, Malaya, and China. John Davis Murray, a mechanical engineer and recent graduate of Purdue University, was sent to supervise the operation on behalf of the Phosphate Mining and Shipping Company. Murray was known as the King of Christmas Island until 1910, when he married and settled in London. The island was administered jointly by the British Phosphate Commissioners and District Officers from the United Kingdom Colonial Office through the Straits Settlements, and later the Crown Colony of Singapore. Hunt 2011 provides a detailed history of Chinese indentured labor on the island during those years. In 1922, scientists attempted unsuccessfully to view a solar eclipse from the island to test Einstein's theory of relativity. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese invasion from the outbreak of the Southeast Asian theater of World War II in December 1941, Christmas Island was a target for Japanese occupation because of its rich phosphate deposits. A naval gun was installed under a British officer and four NCOs and 27 Indian soldiers. The first attack was carried out on 20 January 1942, by Japanese submarine I-59, which torpedoed a Norwegian freighter, the Eidsvold. The vessel drifted and eventually sank off West White Beach. Most of the European and Asian staff and their families were evacuated to Perth. In late February and early March 1942, there were two aerial bombing raids. Shelling from a Japanese naval group on 7 March led the district officer to hoist the white flag. But after the Japanese naval group sailed away, the British officer raised the Union flag once more. During the night of 10–11 March, a mutiny of the Indian troops, abetted by Sikh policemen, led to the killing of the five British soldiers and the imprisonment of the remaining 21 Europeans. At dawn on 31 March 1942, a dozen Japanese bombers launched the attack, destroying the radio station. The same day, a Japanese fleet of nine vessels arrived, and the island was surrendered. About 850 men of the Japanese 21st and 24th Special Base Forces and 102nd Construction Unit came ashore at Flying Fish Cove and occupied the island. They rounded up the workforce, most of whom had fled to the jungle. Sabotaged equipment was repaired and preparations were made to resume the mining and export of phosphate. Only 20 men from the 21st Special Base Force were left as a garrison. Isolated acts of sabotage and the torpedoing of the Nisei Maru at the wharf on the 17th of November 1942 meant that only small amounts of phosphate were exported to Japan during the occupation. In November 1943, over 60% of the island's population was evacuated to Surabayan prison camps, leaving a total population of just under 500 Chinese and Malays and 15 Japanese to survive as best they could. In October 1945, HMS Rother reoccupied Christmas Island. After the war, seven mutineers were traced and prosecuted by the military court in Singapore. In 1947, five of them were sentenced to death. However, following representations made by the newly independent government of India, their sentences were reduced to penal servitude for life. Topic: <laughs> Transfer to Australia. At Australia's request, the United Kingdom transferred sovereignty to Australia, with a M$20 million payment from the Australian government to Singapore as compensation for the loss of earnings from the phosphate revenue. The United Kingdom S. Christmas Island Act was given royal assent on 14 May 1958, enabling Britain to transfer authority over Christmas Island from Singapore to Australia by an order in council. Australia S. Christmas Island Act was passed in September 1958 and the island was officially placed under the authority of the Commonwealth of Australia on 1 October 1958, under Commonwealth Cabinet Decision 1573 of 9 September 1958, D. E. Nichols was appointed the first official representative of the new territory. In a media statement on 5 August 1960, the Minister for Territories, Paul Hasluck, said, among other things, that, his extensive knowledge of the Malay language and the customs of the Asian people has proved invaluable in the inauguration of Australian administration. During his two years on the island he had faced unavoidable difficulties and constantly sought to advance the island. 
S. Interests John William Stokes succeeded him and served from 1 October 1960, to 12 June 1966. On his departure he was lauded by all sectors of the island community. In 1968, the official secretary was retitled an administrator and, since 1997, Christmas Island and the Cocos Keeling Islands together are called the Australian Indian Ocean Territories and share a single administrator resident on Christmas Island. Recollections of the island's history and lifestyle, and lists and timetables of the island. S. Leaders and events since its settlement are at the World Statesman site and in Neal 1988, Bossman 1993, Hunt 2011, and Stokes 2012. The settlement of Silver City was built in the 1970s, with aluminium-clad houses that were supposed to be cyclone-proof. The 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami centered off the western shore of Sumatra in Indonesia, resulted in no reported casualties, but some swimmers were swept some 150 meters (490 feet) out to sea for a time before being swept back in. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Refugee and immigration detention. Topic: from the late 1980s and early 1990s, boats carrying asylum seekers, mainly departing from Indonesia, began landing on the island. In 2001, Christmas Island was the site of the Tampa controversy, in which the Australian government stopped a Norwegian ship, MV Tampa, from disembarking 438 rescued asylum seekers. The ensuing standoff and the associated political reactions in Australia were a major issue in the 2001 Australian federal election. The Howard government operated the Pacific Solution from 2001 to 2007, excising Christmas Island from Australia's migration zone so that asylum seekers on the island could not apply for refugee status. Asylum seekers were relocated from Christmas Island to Manus Island and Nauru. In 2006, an immigration detention centre, containing approximately 800 beds, was constructed on the island for the Department of Immigration and Multicultural Affairs. Originally estimated to cost $276 million, the final cost was over $400 million. In 2007, the Rudd government decommissioned Manus Regional Processing Centre and Nauru Detention Centre. Processing would then occur on Christmas Island itself. In December 2010, 48 asylum seekers died just off the coast of the island in what became known as the Christmas Island Boat Disaster when the boat they were on hit rocks off Flying Fish Cove and then smashed against nearby cliffs. In the case Plaintiff M61, 2010 EV Commonwealth of Australia, the High Court of Australia ruled, in a 7-0 joint judgment, that asylum seekers detained on Christmas Island were entitled to the protections of the Migration Act. Accordingly, the Commonwealth was obliged to afford asylum seekers a minimum of procedural fairness when assessing their claims. As of the 20th of June 2013, after the interception of four boats in six days, carrying 350 people, the Immigration Department stated that there were 2,960 irregular maritime arrivals being held in the island's five detention facilities, which exceeded not only the regular operating capacity of 1,094 people, but also the contingency capacity of 2,724. Geography The island is about 19 kilometres in greatest length and 14.5 kilometres in breadth. The total land area is 135 square kilometers, 52 square miles, with 138.9 kilometers, 86.3 miles of coastline. The island is the flat summit of an underwater mountain more than 4500 meters, 14800 feet high, which rises from about 4200 meters, 13780 feet below the sea and only about 300 meters, 984 feet above it. The mountain was originally a volcano and some basalt is exposed in places such as the Dales and Dolly Beach, but most of the surface rock is limestone accumulated from coral growth. The karst terrain supports numerous ankyline caves. The summit of this mountain peak is formed by a succession of tertiary limestones ranging from the Eocene or Oligocene up to recent reef deposits, with intercalations of volcanic rock in the older beds. Steep cliffs along much of the coast rise abruptly to a central plateau. Elevation ranges from sea level to 361 metres at Murray Hill. 
The island is mainly tropical rainforest, 63% of which is national park land. The narrow fringing reef surrounding the island poses a maritime hazard. Christmas Island lies 2,600 kilometres 1, miles northwest of Perth, Western Australia, 350 kilometres 220 miles south of Indonesia, 975 kilometres 606 miles in of the Cocos Keeling Islands, and 2,748 kilometres 1,708 miles west of Darwin, Northern Territory. Its closest point to the Australian mainland is 1560 kilometers 970 miles from the town of Exmouth Western Australia. Topic: <laughs> Beaches. Topic: Christmas Island has 80 kilometers of shoreline but only small parts of the shoreline are easily accessible. The island S perimeter is embodied by sharp cliff faces, making many of the island's beaches difficult to get to. Some of the easily accessible beaches include Flying Fish Cove, Main Beach, Lily Beach, Ethel Beach, and Isabel Beach, while the more difficult beaches to access include Greta Beach, Dolly Beach, Winifred Beach, Mariel Beach, and West White Beach, which all require a vehicle with four-wheel drive and a difficult walk through dense rainforest. Topic. Climate Topic. Christmas Island is located towards the southern edge of the equatorial region. Climate is tropical and temperatures vary little throughout the year. The highest temperature is usually around 29 degrees Celsius 84 degrees Fahrenheit in March and April, while the lowest temperature is 23 degrees Celsius 73 degrees Fahrenheit and occurs in August. There is a dry season from July to November with only occasional showers. The wet season is between November and May, and includes monsoons, with downpours of rain at random times of the day. Tropical cyclones also occur in the wet season, bringing very strong winds, rain and enormous seas. Demographics <inaudible> 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 As of the 2016 Australian census, the population of Christmas Island is 1,843, 21.2% of the population had Chinese ancestry up from 18.3% in 2001, 12.7% had generic Australian ancestry 11.7% in 2001, 12% had Malay ancestry 9.3% in 2001, 10% had English ancestry 8.9% in 2001, and 2. 3% of the population was of Irish origin the same share as in 2001, 48.1% of the population has undetermined ancestry as of 2016, most of them are people born in Christmas Island and many are of Chinese and Malay origin. 38.5% of people were born in Australia. The next most common country of birth was Malaysia at 20.1%, 27.8% of the population spoke English as their family language, while 17.2% spoke Mandarin Chinese, 17.2% spoke Malay, 3.7% Cantonese, 1.5% Southern Min, and 1% Tagalog. Additionally, there are small local populations of Malaysian Indians and Eurasians. Government. Topic. Christmas Island is a non-self-governing territory of Australia, currently administered by the Department of Infrastructure, Regional Development and Cities. Administration was carried out by the Attorney General's Department until 14 September 2010, and prior to this by the Department of Transport and Regional Services before 29 November 2007. The legal system is under the authority of the Governor-General of Australia and Australian law. An administrator appointed by the Governor-General represents the monarch in Australia. The Australian Government provides services through the Christmas Island Administration and the Department of Infrastructure and Regional Development. Under the Federal Government's Territories Law Reform Act 1992, which came into force on 1 July 1992, Western Australian laws are applied to Christmas Island, so far as they are capable of applying in the territory. Non-application or partial application of such laws is at the discretion of the federal government. The Act also gives Western Australian courts judicial power over Christmas Island. 
Christmas Island remains constitutionally distinct from Western Australia, however, the power of the state to legislate for the territory is delegated by the federal government. The kind of services typically provided by a state government elsewhere in Australia are provided by departments of the Western Australian government, and by contractors, with the costs met by the federal government. A unicameral shire of Christmas Island with nine seats provides local government services and is elected by popular vote to serve four-year terms. Elections are held every two years, with four or five of the members standing for election. In early 1986, the Christmas Island Assembly held a design competition for an island flag. The winning design was adopted as the informal flag of the territory for over a decade, and in 2002 it was made the official flag of Christmas Island. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Federal Politics. Topic: <inaudible> Christmas Island residents who are Australian citizens also vote in federal elections. Christmas Island residents are represented in the House of Representatives by the Division of Lingiari in the Northern Territory and in the Senate by Northern Territory Senators. At the 2016 federal election, the Labour Party received absolute majorities from Christmas Island electors in both the House of Representatives and the Senate. Economy <inaudible> 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 Phosphate mining had been the only significant economic activity, but in December 1987 the Australian government closed the mine. In 1991, the mine was reopened by a consortium which included many of the former mine workers as shareholders. With the support of the government, the $34 million Christmas Island Casino and Resort opened in 1993, but was closed in 1998. As of 2011, the resort has reopened without the casino. The Australian government in 2001 agreed to support the creation of a commercial spaceport on the island, however this has not yet been constructed, and appears that it will not proceed. The Howard government built a temporary immigration detention centre on the island in 2001 and planned to replace it with a larger, modern facility at North West Point until Howard's defeat in the 2007 elections. Culture. The culture of Christmas Island is unique, for people of many different ethnicities inhabit the area. Historically, the majority of Christmas Islanders were those of Chinese, Malay and Indian origins, the initial permanent settlers, and as a result they have significantly influenced the local culture. Today, the majority of residents are Chinese, with significant numbers of European Australians and Malays as well as smaller Indian and Eurasian communities too. The main languages of Christmas Island are English and Chinese. Dress is usually modest, and tourists should keep a wrap, such as a sarong or pareo, on hand to cover shorts, bathing suits, and tank tops. It is common to remove shoes when entering a house and to also avoid touching anyone's head. Religious beliefs are diverse, but people are very tolerant of each other's religions. The religions practiced include Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, Islam, and Christianity. There is a mosque in Flying Fish Cove. With all of these religions, there are many religious festivals, such as Spring Festival, Hari Raya, Christmas and Easter. Additionally, there is a Baja. I center on the island. <laughs> Attractions Christmas Island is well known for its biological diversity. There are many rare species of animals and plants on the island, making nature walking a popular activity. Along with the diversity of species, many different types of caves exist, such as plateau caves, coastal caves, raised coastal caves and alcoves, sea caves, fissure caves, collapse caves and basalt caves, most of these are near the sea and have been formed by the action of water. Altogether, there are approximately 30 caves on the island, with Lost Lake Cave, Daniel Rue Cave and Full Frontal Cave being the most well known. The many freshwater springs include Hosni's Spring Ramsar, which also has a mangrove stand. The Dales is a rainforest in the western part of the island and consists of seven deep valleys, all of which were formed by spring streams. Hughes Dale Waterfall is part of this area and is a popular attraction. The annual breeding migration of the Christmas Island red crabs is a popular event. Fishing is another common activity. There are many distinctive species of fish in the ocean surrounding Christmas Island. 
Snorkeling and swimming in the ocean are two other activities that are extremely popular. Walking trails are also very popular, for there are many beautiful trails surrounded by extravagant flora and fauna. 63% of the island is national park making it one of the main attractions to experience when visiting. <laughs> flora and fauna Christmas Island was uninhabited until the late 19th century, allowing many species to evolve without human interference. Two-thirds of the island has been declared a national park, which is managed by the Australian Department of Environment and Heritage through Parks Australia. Christmas Island has always been known for its unique species, both of flora and fauna. <laughs> flora the dense rainforest has grown in the deep soils of the plateau and on the terraces. The forests are dominated by 25 tree species. Ferns, orchids and vines grow on the branches in the humid atmosphere beneath the canopy. The 135 plant species include at least 18 that are found nowhere else. The rainforest is in great condition despite the mining activities over the last 100 years. Areas that have been damaged by mining are now a part of an ongoing rehabilitation project. The island is small and covers 135 square kilometers of land which 63% of that land has been declared national park. Christmas Island's endemic plants include the trees Orenga listeri, Pandanus elatus and Dendronide peltata var. Mariana, the shrubs Abutilin listeri, Colubrina pedunculata, Gruia insularis and Pandanus chrysmatensis, the vines Hoya aldrichi and Xenaria alba, the herbs Assistasia alba, Dicliptera macleary and Peperomia rossi, the grass Eschemum nativitatis, the fern Asplenium listeri, and the orchids Brachypeza archidus, Flickingeria nativitatis, Freatia listeri and Zuxine exilis. <laughs> Topic. Two species of native rats, the Maclear's and Bulldog rats, have become extinct since the island was settled, while the Javan Rusa has been introduced. The endemic Christmas Island shrew has not been seen since the mid-1980s and may be already extinct, while the Christmas Island pipistrelle a small bat is critically endangered and probably also extinct. The Christmas Island flying fox fruit bat, an important pollinator and rainforest seed disperser, is also in decline and under increasing pressure from land clearing and introduced pest species. The flying fox S low rate of reproduction one pup each year and high infant mortality rate makes it especially vulnerable. Flying foxes are an backquote umbrella backquote species helping forests regenerate and other species survive in stressed environments. The land crabs and seabirds are the most noticeable fauna on the island. Christmas Island has been identified by BirdLife International as both an endemic bird area and an important bird area because it supports five endemic species and five subspecies as well as over 1% of the world populations of five other seabirds. Twenty terrestrial and intertidal species of crab have been described here, of which 13 are regarded as true land crabs, being dependent on the ocean only for larval development. Robber crabs, known elsewhere as coconut crabs, also exist in large numbers on the island. The annual red crab mass migration around 100 million animals to the sea to spawn has been called one of the wonders of the natural world. This takes place each year around November, after the start of the wet season and in synchronization with the cycle of the moon. Once at the ocean, the mothers release the embryos where they can survive and grow until they are able to live on land. The island is a focal point for seabirds of various species. Eight species or subspecies of seabirds nest on it. The most numerous is the red-footed booby, which nests in colonies, using trees on many parts of the shore terrace. The widespread brown booby nests on the ground near the edge of the sea cliff and inland cliffs. Abbott's booby listed as endangered nests on tall emergent trees of the western, northern and southern plateau rainforest, the only remaining nesting habitat for this bird in the world. Another endangered and endemic bird, the Christmas frigatebird, has nesting areas on the northeastern shore terraces. The more widespread great frigatebirds nest in semi-deciduous trees on the shore terrace, with the greatest concentrations being in the northwest and south point areas. The common knotty and two species of bosun or tropic birds, with their brilliant gold or silver plumage and distinctive streamer tail feathers, also nest on the island. 
Of the ten native land birds and shorebirds, seven are endemic species or subspecies. This includes the Christmas thrush and the Christmas imperial pigeon. Some 86 migrant bird species have been recorded as visitors to the island. Six species of butterfly are known to occur on Christmas Island. These are the Christmas swallowtail Papilio memnon, striped albatross Apias olferna, Christmas emperor Polyura andrusi, king cerulean Gemides bocus, lesser grass blue Zizina otis, and Papuan grass yellow Eurema blanda. Topic: Media. Topic: Christmas Island has access to a range of modern communication services. Radio broadcasts from Australia include ABC Radio National, ABC Kimberley, Triple J and Red FM. All services are provided by satellite links from the mainland. Broadband internet became available to subscribers in urban areas in mid-2005 through the local internet service provider, CIIA formerly DOTCX. Christmas Island, due to its close proximity to Australia's northern neighbours, falls within many of the satellite footprints throughout the region. This results in ideal conditions for receiving various Asian broadcasts, which locals sometimes prefer to those emanating from Western Australia. Additionally, ionospheric conditions are conducive to terrestrial radio transmissions, from HF through VHF and sometimes into UHF. The island plays home to a small array of radio equipment that spans a good chunk of the usable spectrum. A variety of government-owned and operated antenna systems are employed on the island to take advantage of this. Topic. Television Topic. Free to air digital television stations from Australia are broadcast in the same time zone as Perth, and are broadcast from three separate locations Cable television from Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, and the United States commenced in January 2013. Topic. Telecommunications Topic. Telephone services are provided by Telstra and are a part of the Australian network with the same prefix as Western Australia, South Australia and the Northern Territory 08. A GSM mobile telephone system on the 900 MHz band replaced the old analogue network in February 2005. Topic. Postage stamps Topic. A postal agency was opened on the island in 1901 and sold stamps of the Strait Settlements. After the Japanese occupation, 1942 to 45, postage stamps of the British Military Administration in Malaya were in use. Then stamps of Singapore. In 1958, the island received its own postage stamps after being put under Australian custody. It had a large philatelic and postal independence, managed first by the Phosphate Commission, 1958 to 1969, and then by the island. S. Administration 1969 This ended on 2 March 1993 when Australia Post became the island's postal operator. Christmas Island stamps may be used in Australia and Australian stamps may be used on the island. Transport a container port exists at Flying Fish Cove with an uncompleted alternative container unloading point to the east of the island at Norris Point, intended for use during the December to March swell season of rough seas. The standard gauge 18 km Christmas Island Phosphate Coes Railway from Flying Fish Cove to the Phosphate Mine was constructed in 1914. It was closed in December 1987, when the Australian government closed the mine, and since has been recovered as scrap, leaving only earthworks in places. Virgin Australia Regional Airlines provides two weekly flights to Christmas Island Airport from Perth, Western Australia. Garuda Indonesia conduct weekly open charter flights from to Jakarta with bookings done through Christmas Island Travel Exchange and Melindo Air operate fortnightly open charter flights from to Kuala Lumpur with bookings done through Evercrown Air Services. Hire cars are available from the airport however no franchised companies are represented. Sea Taxi Service also operates most days. The road network covers most of the island and is of generally good quality, although four-wheel drive vehicles are needed to reach some of the more distant parts of the rainforest or the more isolated beaches on the rough dirt roads. 
Topic education topic The island operated creches in the recreation center. Christmas Island District High School, catering to students in grades P-12, is run by the Western Australian Education Department. There are no universities on Christmas Island. The island has one public library. Topic see also topic Outline of Christmas Island Index of Christmas Island Related Articles, CX Cocos Keeling Islands Norfolk Island topic Notes topic topic References topic topic Citations topic topic Source topic Flora, Endemic Plants. Parks and Reserves, Christmas Island National Park. Australia Government, Department of Sustainability, Environment, Water, Population and Communities, 21 November 2012. Retrieved 25 December 2012. This article incorporates public domain material from the CIA World Factbook website https colon slash slash www.chia.gov slash library slash publications slash the dash world dash factbook slash index dot html. L. Clemen Forgotten Campaign, The Dutch East Indies Campaign 1941-1942. Archived from the original on 26 July 2011. Topic further reading topic Adams, Jan, Neil, Marg 1993. Christmas Island, The Early Years 1888-1958. Bruce Neal. ISBN 0-646-14894-X. 96 pages, including many B&W photographs. Allen, Gerald R., Steen, Roger C. Fishes of Christmas Island 1 ed. Christmas Island Natural History Association. ISBN 0-9591210-1-3. 197 pages including many photographs and plates. Allen, Gerald R., Steen, Roger C., Orchard, Max 2007. Fishes of Christmas Island 2 ed. Christmas Island Natural History Association. ISBN 978-0-9591210-8-7 Andrews, Charles W. A Description of Christmas Island Indian Ocean. Geographical Journal, 13 17-35. doi, 10.2307-1774789 Andrews, Charles W. A Monograph of Christmas Island. London Anonymous, 1984, Christmas Island, Indian Ocean, a unique island. Published by a committee of present and former employees of the Phosphate Mining Company. 60 pages including color photographs. Iris, Cyril, 1993. Tai Ko Seng, Gordon Bennett of Christmas Island. Gordon Bennett Educational Foundation. ISBN 0-646-15483-4. 263 pages including photographs. Bossman, D., ed., 1993. Christmas Island Police 1958-1983. D. Bossman. 112 pages including many photographs. CIA World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. 2002 Gray, H. S. 1981. Christmas Island Naturally. H. S. Gray. ISBN 0-9594105-0-3. 133 pages including many color photographs. Hicks, John, Rumpf, Holger, Yorkston, Hugh 1984. Christmas Crabs. Christmas Island Natural History Association. ISBN 0-9591210-0-5. 76 pages including color photographs. Hunt, John 2011. Suffering Through Strength, The Men Who Made Christmas Island. ISBN 9780646552. Hunt, John 2011. The Indian Ocean, A Select Bibliography. National Library of Australia, 1979. ISBN 0-642-99150-2. Neil, Margaret 1988. We Were the Christmas Islanders. Bruce Neal. ISBN 0-7316-4158-2. 207 pages including many B&W photographs. Orchard, Max 2012. Crabs of Christmas Island. Christmas Island Natural History Association. ISBN 9780646576428288 pages Pictorial illustration of crabs. Stokes, Tony 2012. 
Whatever will be, I'll see. Growing up in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s in the Northern Territory, Christmas and the Cocos Keeling Islands, New South Wales, and the Australian Capital Territory. ISBN 9 trillion seven hundred eighty billion six hundred forty six million five hundred seventy five thousand six hundred forty three. Two hundred thirty eight pages. Wharton, W. J. L. eighteen eighty eight. Account of Christmas Island, Indian Ocean. Proceedings of the Royal Geographical Society and Monthly Record of Geography, 10 10, 613-624. doi, 10.2307, 1,800,848-Waters, Les, 1992. The Union of Christmas Island Workers, 2 ed. St. Leonard's, NSW, Allen and Onwin. 170 pages including B&W photographs. Topic external links Topic Christmas Island Tourism Association, Official Tourism Website Christmas Island National Park, Official Website Christmas Island National Park Christmas Island Act 1958 Christmas Island at Curlie, Christmas Island. The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency. Christmas Island Travel Guide from Unearth Travel A Creative Commons Travel Wiki. Australia puts its refugee problem on a remote island, behind razor wire." New York Times, 5 November 2009